Alright, what up? Kamikaze Soundways, welcome back to part two of Gone Home. I stopped exactly where I was at. I had to, I didn't know my son was in the next room making a whole bunch of noise. Anyway, check it out, part two. Let's go. Okay. I see the point of being able to pick up all the stuff. I mean, you can't do anything with it. It's just. Like, what, what am I supposed to do with this? Alright, anyway. Samantha, please give this to your mother. Janice, thank you for having Danny over here to your new home. He has missed having his friend Samantha in the neighborhood very much. Danny asked if he could lend send into his Nintendo Street Fighting tape, and I gave my permission. Street Fighter 2 Turbo, I'm sure. He needs to spend. Less time with those games anyway. No hurry returning it. Let Samantha know that she is welcome back to our house to visit anytime, sincerely. When you live in one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. Cause that's what friends are for. When they have good Nintendo games. Other than that, they're pretty fucking useless and weird. I agree. Katie, please tell mom and dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. Oh, your ass gonna get whoop. Katie, please. You found don't tell mom. The attic, and I just heard a fucking creepy noise. Fantastic. Is there a run button? I don't think this is that type of game. Did yeah. I not go on this tour? Welcome, new student. Oh, God, look, I mean, does, is all that really necessary? Ah, everything's checked off the list except for a positive attitude. I can get you. Fuck school. Oh my god, you are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, wishing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Okay. Uh, at this point, I am ready for something to jump out and try to eat my face. Here's the mask. Well, fuck. Alright. Time to venture on upstairs.
blah, 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 blah. I don't understand why that's necessary for me to know, but I guess they're just trying to draw you in. This is a very normal house until shit gets weird. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like, instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour, and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know, I finally found someone I feel normal around. I uh, drove her home awesome. and she gave me this tape. Can said, you fucking play it? Where's the fucking this? Nintendo? I haven't stopped playing it since. Oh. Well, fuck you. You got my hopes up for nothing. What is this, anyway? Adventure as the cat. Oh, this is a bootleg. It doesn't say engraved by Nintendo on the back. You got ripped off, son. Shit, pick it up. What is this? Journey of Crystal? No idea what the fuck that is. Also, another bootleg. It's trash. Oh, there's another one. What is this? Super Spitfire! By Jelko. Closer to their goal, the one room of the dead immortal king, the first mate slid down the line. So I guess she's like writing a story about, uh... That is a lot to fucking read. I, I, I can't do it. I'm sorry. I can't. That's way too much. What is this? Oh. Thought I found a secret. Uh, what the fuck was that? Man, turn every damn damn light on. all out with this shit. I mean, it's it's cool setup, man. The atmosphere is really, really good. I'm not going to lie. The atmosphere is so good. As far as really, really good with all the little notes and stuff in around. It is annoying to pick them up and look at them, but I think it, it really just capitalizes on what it's going for here. Um, I feel like the combination for that would be close. Hey, Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction? After School with the Claws Eam, it came out last week, and Todd won't shut up about it. Yeah, because it's like my favorite movie of all time, too, by the way, just FYI. Sorry, my computer was looking a little weird there. Mom is supposed to be cook dinner for us tonight. We're exchange. I can put it to blah blah blah. blah. I'm going to bar if I can lay to tie to a car. I guess. All right. Wait a bit. Is there more to this? No. Right. I need to find a combination for that shit.
Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. That's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy or good or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. Oh and she's shit. Looking at me. Oh After shit. Moment, oh I shit. To say something. <laughs> but I waited. And the moment was gone. It's a lesbian. Fucking electronics missing. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. No, 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 no. Turn it. No, turn that shit off. I guess this is her room. I think the other room was her brother's room. Man, these fuckers have got money, boy. Maybe that was her room. Maybe this is her parents' room. Yeah, this has definitely got to be the parents' room. Tell me, I understand how you feel. Bob and I have our own barriers. Uh, we have life actually. You see each other. The kids grow up before they go away. I'm sorry this isn't helping. Is it? Don't worry, Terry. We'll get on. Uh, blah, 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 blah. In the meantime, this controlled burn, it sounds like quite a venture. Okay. That is just, I mean, Jesus. She went to London. There's some more. Phone doesn't work still. I know it says something about the attic, so. Really interested to get it there. Mom and Dad were going to make up the restroom for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice. They weren't around to do it. And you can use whatever you want. I won't be needed anymore. Sam. Sighting journal. Oh shit. Tall shadow on the. This is, I'll read some shit like this. A tall shadow in the upstairs hall when I recorded round in the corner. No one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? No, I'm not wearing my glasses. 
A faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello. Did not investigate. Probably was the frosted furnace. Poured the milk from carton and fridge. It was spoiled pretty. Up. Something I can't read that. I read that spurts can sour milk. Spirits can sour milk. Milk was just bought yesterday. Maybe inject the expiration. Lonnie says she feels a pressure in the TV room. A presence in the TV room. I suddenly feel cold. We build a protective fort pil pillow fort. Lonnie and I emptied the queen. Employ Ouija board as a medium. Disturbing messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. I got a little bit of chill when I read that, to be honest with you. <laughs> Uh, enlisted Lottie to stay up all night and help patrol premises, recording any sign of any other premise presence. Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remain confirmed. Possible ecoplasm in the attic, probably due to leaky roof. Sample taken just in case, despite our best efforts. We both will sleep around 4 a.m. All in all, a successful night. Now we're fucking cooking. So I'm going to go ahead and predict that whatever fucking ghosts they're talking about, that motherfucker done got them. Her family was supposed to be here. I think it done ate their ass up or something. Or it chased them out of the house and she's they're gone. I don't know. I'm going to say... Is there another tape player on here? Here we go. Hey. Oh. Yeah, that's enough of that shit. show sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after that's a lie to mom and dad's situation but it was so worth it the girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome and everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. What I've been waiting for, man. I think I've explored everything up here. I think. You're as bad as your sister. Two weeks concern, I am some cream bar, I'm seven years old, and therefore an independent, fully functional human being. Uh, the fact that you still forbid me going into the city is my own frankly absurd. Compared with Katie, there is only three years older than me. We allowed her to do way across the ocean to another continent. Uh, can't really stop me, blah, blah, blah.
What the fuck was that? I feel like I need to go back in the TV room. It's not that one. Dawn County. The county. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and secure all windows and doors. Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. Alright, I'm lost at this point. I'm missing something, I think. fucking attic. Hmm. Okay, I am officially not knowing what to do. I'm going to go ahead and call that part two. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in part three. Later.